Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Knight's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be doing another Hot Toys figure unboxing and review. Before we get too far, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. And today's video is going to be the Transport Trooper from Mandalorian Season 2. And yes, this is going to be the wonderful universe of Star Wars. I'm really excited to do this. Mandalorian Season 3 just came out with Episode 1. We're going to do like a series of Mandalorian figures. We're going to start today with the Transport Trooper. And then we have Ahsoka coming in probably by next week. And I also have the Chrome Mandalorian Deluxe coming as well. I was hoping to have him today so we could do kind of the head swap and see how that goes. But he's not here yet. So we're going to talk about that. But you might, uh, you know, you might want to tune into the Chrome Mando video so that you can see the comparison and putting that head sculpt on this figure. But without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, we are showing some really nice images of the box. It is your typical Star Wars art box. It is TMS Zero. Three zero, and again, this is the transport trooper. I really like how they do these boxes. They are simplistic, but yet when they added that cigar band on the bottom, it really did a lot to the box itself and just added some extra color and some extra like vibrancy. Um, great image of the figure on the front. You know, again, simple, but effective. It looks really good. It's really sleek. I like the dark colors and just the gradient with the figure in it as well. This is a figure that I got on Sideshow.com, and I did get him for one of the great sales that they had going on. Um, you can get yours there as well. And I, the reason why I wanted this figure is to use that um, Mandalorian head sculpt. That's ultimately what I want to do with it. But when we get the uh, box onto the table, we're going to lay it down. It is going to be a pull-up cover here. And then once we remove that, get a really cool image of the figure itself with some nice like blast effects there towards the bottom. Uh, just a really cool looking figure. I like so far how I kind of can see a lot of that um, wear and tear, like battle damage going on. Once we remove it from the box and we kind of take that first piece of clamshell off, we're going to get a first look at the figure. I, I like the colors here. Like you might think it doesn't stand out, but the colors are unique and they look really, really cool. So I'm really excited for this. As we scroll down here, this is like the second figure I'm doing in a row where he just does not come with any type of accessories, but at least he comes with a blaster. Um, if you're new to the channel, we did Robin beforehand, and that's the figure that didn't come with anything, but he looks great. I'm excited to review him with you guys. Let's start by taking a look at the base and accessories. Usually I do the base first, but because he really doesn't come with anything, let's just do them both together. And here we have our typical Star Wars base. It's more like a a Death Star type of flooring base, but I like these because they're simple, but they look good and um, they go well together with other Star Wars figures. You know, they're very, they match. So that's what I like. It comes with the metal nameplate as well. And then a normal crotch grabber too. So he comes with one blaster, two fisted hands, and then two blaster holding hands. So you can put the blaster in either hand. And then on the figure, he does have the resting hands. But let's just take a look at this hand as well. And it is just a normal gloved hand. It, it's got some like um, some some ribbing or some some real like texture going on just to kind of make it look like a gloved hand. So it looks really good. Nice shine to it. The pistol's really well done. It's going to be like a more of a matte black, not a not gloss, maybe a little satin to it. But it's got like nicks and scrapes all over it. I love it when they do this. You know, I think it was the Scout Trooper where they did like just a flat black and there's no characteristics in it like that. So I'm really happy that they put some of that detail into it. And then we get the figure out on the turntable here. Our first look at him out of the box. And again, I, I like the greenish tannish colors going on here, like the earth tones. It looks really, really good. I do like this type of trooper. It's kind of like a mash between the um, the mud trooper and then the, I think it's the artillery trooper or something like that. Um, but he's kind of got the helmet from that one and then a lot of the, the mud trooper um, suit here going on. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a unique helmet. It's one we haven't seen before. It looks really good. And then they got like that red armband just for a little bit of... Uh, color to stand out you know this thing's going to be a lot of cloth so i think he's going to pose really really well 
and just a close-up on the upper part of the body you can see the printed on like damage and nicks on there so there isn't gonna be like a texture to it um, but it is gonna look very sharp and very detailed so that is nice and the belt is going to be velcro so if you did have to remove that you could uh, the shoulder pads are gonna be velcro so you know they're gonna kind of get out of the way if you need it the boots are one of my favorite parts here the shields on the front or the armor is free floating so it does kind of swivel around but i love how they dirtied up the boots and they just look really worn and, and like realistic kind of dark towards the top but then as you go down you know there's a lot of splatter and, and kind of looks like mud there and then the midsection here too the holster is very soft uh, very delicate uh doesn't seem like it fits the the blaster very well but um you know we'll talk about that further here as we go but now let's get the figure in hand and now just kind of take a closer look at the details and then at the articulation as well we'll start up at the um, upper part of the figure again i like this this helmet it's got like th these tusks and it's just like a unique helmet it's got somewhat of a like an orange visor uh, i wish it was a little bit brighter kind of like they did with the return of the jedi stormtroopers where um, I wish it was a little bit more tinted so that we couldn't just see through it because you can tell there's nobody in there. Um, and I do wish it was a little bit brighter. But you can see on the chest plate just the um, the scrapes and the scratches and the details. And there's like washes that are going over this. The shoulder pads are going to be Velcro like we talked about. So if you need to remove them or move them out of the way when articulating, you can. These um, armbands are going to be free floating. So again, they'll move too. But you can see a lot of this is going to be cloth, so it's going to articulate really well. The belt looks really nice. And then again, it does Velcro on the back. And just going into the uh, holster, it's it's different than what I felt before. It's not like a, it's a lot softer. and almost feels like, I don't want to say it, but kind of like a cheaper material um, than what I've seen in the past. So hopefully it holds up. I did have a hard time getting the blaster in there because it just doesn't fit very well. So that's kind of a bummer. But the boots, again, they look great. You can just see all of the texture and all the detail going on in the splatter. So I really like that a lot. As we get into articulation, you can just see that the, the head has a lot of movement. So, you know, again, arms can go out to a 90. Um, they can go out to a 90 going forward as well. They're going to have a swivel in the arm and then a double bend in the elbow. Uh, those sleeves do look really, really short. So that does bother me because if you're going to get this into an action pose, the sleeves are looking really short and you get to see the underbody, which is kind of a turnoff. But he does have quite a, a good amount of crunch in the abdomen area. No swivel in the legs, which was weird. Um, but they do go to almost a 90 degree. He's got some split activity going on there. And then a nice bend in the knee too. And the cool thing about these boots is they're going to be that they kind of hide the joint so you can have really good articulation in the boots as well. Overall, this is a great looking figure, great piece, a good uh, companion piece if you can get it um, with the other Mando figures. And if we take the helmet off and then we pop this neck off, this is how you can put the uh, Pedro Pascal head sculpt in. And then if you want to take the neck piece off and put that on the Pedro Pascal head sculpt, you can do it that too. Now let's get him into some poses and talk about some of the things that I like about the figure and some things not so much starting with the things that i really like about the figure the first would be that you can use the pedro pascal head sculpt with this now i know i didn't get to show it to you today but we will show it on the next video when i get that figure in but i don't know if hot toys did it on purpose or if it was just a coincidence but i'm glad that you can do that because that's the selling point with this figure that's why we want this figure is because it was a pivotal moment in the show when he first took off his helmet the second thing that I really like about the figure are the boots and just the detail that Hot Toys put on to them. The, the mud, the the dirt, the war that looks like it's worn. I really love that Hot Toys did that. It just adds to the realism factor. And the third thing that I like about the figure is there's a lot of cloth material to it and it's really going to help with articulation. You're going to be able to do whatever you want with this figure um, and there's nothing that's really going to hinder that. Now for some things that I didn't like about the figure. Uh, one would be that the sleeves seem a little bit too short. You can just see, even with his arms bent at 90, uh, the sleeves just are too short, and you can see the black body underneath. It's just, it's not a good look. They should have made these sleeves just a little bit longer. The second thing that I don't like so much is the fact that the, um, I, I thought the lens would be a little bit brighter of a color, and if it was tinted a little bit more, then we wouldn't be able to see through it as much 
and know that there's really no head sculpt in there. Not a big deal, but just kind of a nitpick. And the third thing that I didn't really like about the figure was kind of that cheap looking holster. And it was really hard to get the pistol or the blaster in there because it's got these, um, it's got, it just doesn't fit right. It's got these pieces that you really got to kind of push it in and it, and it seems delicate and like you could really kind of kind of wreck it easily so that is a little bit concerning be careful when you're trying to put the blaster in the holster other than that those are three nitpicks i think this is a really cool figure great companion piece i think it's got some presence like it's not bright or anything like that but i do think it stands out it's a unique trooper and i really really like it a lot i'm definitely going to be using this with the pedro pascal head sculpt and i think that's the really big selling point is getting this with the new mandalorian and being able to show off that time in season two when he first took off his helmet. I'm super, super excited to do that. So stay tuned for my review on the Chrome Mando and we will show you exactly how it looks with the Pedro Pascal head sculpt. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this figure and what you think of Mandalorian season three. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And make sure you keep your eyes out on Sideshow for these super sweet deals that they're coming out with. So, all right, guys. Well, until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.